Hello, 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 everyone. It's me, it's me, Miss A-N-N-I-E, the Kinder Clown again. And today I'm dressed all up in my uniform as a balloon artist. I wear many hats, and yes, I do have a lot of hats that I wear <laughs> as an entertainer. But nevertheless, the reason for having different roles is because there are so many different requests and many people that call and reserve our services want to know if you have face painters, if you have balloon artists, if you have puppeteers, if you have magicians or storytellers. So what I learned to do by the grace of God is master all of those skills with a lot of time, a lot of practice, and a lot of prayer. Say that with me. Time, practice, and prayer. And without those three, you can't get it done. But I want to share with you a magical moment today with the balloon twisting with regards to our services. Um, we provide balloon services for the DMV areas and the surrounding counties of Baltimore County West, North, East, and South. One thing that you're going to need to have to be your best friends are magic markers, but this one actually is a paint marker. You can actually do a lot of really cool things with these. And we'll talk about those things as we go along. Uh, this is actually a, a, a beautiful highlighter, but it's a magic marker. It's a pink one. It's real pretty. And this one is green. These are some of the new colors that we have that are a lot of fun for children. And as you can see in my pocket, I keep magic markers and pens in there because I like to draw faces many times on balloons. I'm going to let you in on my little show and tell today, a little inside scoop of the life of a balloon artist. Well, balloon artists, if you're not in clown attire, can still be really cool and a lot of fun because we have all kinds of different shapes that we use and the services that we provide. And I'm just going to introduce some of them to you today. This clear balloon is called a 260. A 260. The red balloon also is a 260. And you will get to see what they look like when they are inflated uh, in just a few minutes. This one is just a little thinner, and it is called a 160. Say that. 160. Very good. Give yourselves a hand. Yay. And then when we do a lot of different decorations and things of that nature, we use a 360. So this is a 360, guys. And this balloon right here can do a lot of uh, special things. Uh, it has a special assignment and a special purpose. And we'll talk about those as we go along. Well, some of the balloons that I like to keep in my pocket is balloon artists have a lot of pockets, if you notice, whenever you see balloon artists. They have all of these balloons just bursting out of the pockets of our aprons. And this is a mouse ear. Now, it's typically called a bear head, but I call it a bear head, but I use it for my mouse parties, a lot of Disney parties, Minnie, Mickey, hello somebody, yes. This is a very special balloon by Patel Attacks as well. This is one of those little uh, squiggly little spiral balloons. And you can do a lot of really cool things like snakes and use these as stems when it's fully inflated for flowers and such. It has a lot of different purposes and it's diverse. And this is a collab. <laughs> 
face. This is a wonderful thing. You can actually do a really lots of cool things with this balloon right here. And those are by Batalatax. You can only get those by Batalatax. You can only get this, this, and this by Batalatax. And I use the wholesaler of Lorox Fun and Magic. Okay. Now these are by Qualitex. I like the symmetrical shape of this six inch heart. It's three inches right now, but when it is fully inflated, it is about six inches or you can make it smaller to five inches and so forth. It just depends on the particular design. This is a red one. And we like to use these as well when we do our teddy bears and flowers and all of that other stuff. And this right here is a 320. This is a B body and they come in diverse colors, orange, yellow, red, and uh, also uh, I believe I saw them in yellow. Did I say yellow? A happy-go-lucky fellow <laughs> by Qualitex, which is one of the leading balloon companies, Qualitex. That's where I'm going to get my certified balloon artist license. That way I will be certified on a international level by God's grace. And I thank him and I praise him for that. This might be my year, but if it isn't, I am preparing for it because I take nothing for granted. We use a lot of these beautiful flesh colors, which is a five inch round balloon when it's fully inflated. And this is also by Qualitex, the leading balloon company international. Well, one of the things I would like to share with you guys during orientation and this is the orientation because before you can actually understand the purpose of a balloon you have to know uh, how to properly use it and how to store it how to inflate how to tie and how to store it away so that you can keep them uh, nice and crisp and safe because balloons if they're not taking care taken care of properly, I'm sorry, they can really pop like firecrackers. <laughs> so the next part of my show and tell that I want to show you guys, as you can guess by now, red is one of my favorite colors. Okay, red for the blood of Jesus. Amen. All right. I want to thank you guys, first of all, for tuning in to Annie the Kinder Clown show and tell channel. God gave me the vision for this channel because for many years I've been asking my church, can we please teach other people how to use the pump and make balloon animals and things like that? So when we go to the nursing homes, we do community outreach, suburban and, and, and urban outreach ministry, I don't have to be the one clown wonder. We need help, okay? But it didn't come to pass, but I felt led this year to just go ahead and make up my channel with my tutorials and such. And I am honoring God with my gifts and my talents because the more you use your gifts and your talents, the more God will bless you and favor you and open doors for you. And he'll do it for his glory so that you can give him the praise. You don't keep the praise for yourself. All balloon artists, whether it's in the winter time or the summer time, winter, spring, summer, fall, you got to stay hydrated. So I keep water in my cooler always. This is the inside of my cooler when I have small events. When I do large events, I have my big cooler. It's a big one. But in this cooler, I usually keep a frozen bottle of water, and then I keep a bottle of water that doesn't, uh, that isn't frozen already because... And keeping your balloons safe, you want to always keep them 
in the refrigerator or in a cooler or in the cooler with an ice pack or any kind of element of ice. So that's what protects your balloons and keep your balloons from getting overheated and popping. And every balloon that pops, that's money down the drain. And I don't like to lose money. So you want to keep your balloons at least two hours ahead of time, especially in the summertime before you go out to a show. You want to keep them in the refrigerator or you can keep them in the freezer but just keep them tucked away in a little bag or something, but keep the bag sealed. This, my friends, is, I feel, in my opinion, the very best balloon pump in the world. This is a Qualitex balloon pump. And the reason why I like this pump so much is because when I have birthday parties and small parties, or if I'm doing an event and I'm out and about and have to do walk around clowning, I can slip it in my pocket. Mm -hmm. And I can also take this little thing off of here and store balloons in the inside. If I want to put my markers in there, I can do that. It's always good to pack your bags the day before. Just don't be a slacker. Have everything organized and have everything ready. Now, guys, when you blow up and do the inflation of balloons, if balloons pop in your presence, guess what? You should be responsible to clean up after yourself after the venue and that particular job is over. If it's outreach, be a good steward and do the same. Now, when you're inflating your balloons, this is going to go in and out. As easy as that. Isn't that cool? And you can store things in here. Now, the purpose of having the magic markers in here is so that you don't forget anything. So, you want to take those out before you start uh, with inflation. So today, what we're going to talk about is inflation, tying, and we always talk about safety. Never give balloons to infants. Ever. I don't care if the parents cry, holler, scream, pull their wig off, pull the tracks off, pull their eyelashes off. Don't give balloons to babies. You can give the balloon to the parents. When you're using red balloons, ages should be at least seven and up because their lungs are the same color. So you don't want to use pink, nor do you want to use red. Okay? When you're inflating your balloons, everybody, just make sure that you and your guests or your customers have a little room and a little space in between you. So I'm just going to show you how to tie and inflate today. And then we'll work on part two with how to make really cool stuff. Okay? So we're going to inflate it uh, about eight pumps. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There you go. See, I've been doing this for a minute, so I kind of know. See that? See the length of that balloon? What you want to do, guys, is let a little burp out. See these two fingers right here? You want to tie your balloon around those two fingers or just let enough out so that you can tie it around two or one finger. See that? You tie it around those two fingers. See my two fingers? And just bring it on through. This requires practice and patience. Okay, you don't want to pull on that nozzle. Some balloon designs that you do will require you to pull on the nozzle. But not in this case. Now when you're doing evangelism, you can teach children really cool things like Bible verses. And then you can actually make balloon animals to actually make it more 
interesting. You can make a lesson out of anything. You can minister the gospel of Jesus Christ effectively with balloons. Everybody loves balloons, even the people in the nursing home. Oh my goodness. When you're doing evangelism, don't forget the elderly. They love the balloons as much as the children. Okay, so what did we say? Never give red or pink balloons to infants and toddlers because the color of their lungs are still very close to the colors of these balloons and it's not advised. And you should have first aid training, guys. When your church starts with these balloon classes, they need to be mindful of how to save somebody's life because children will put balloons in their mouths and you don't want the kids to choke. So it's always best to pray before you leave out and ask the Lord to cover you and cover those children with his blood. Amen. Amen. So you want to remember to always have a little space between yourself and the individual that is waiting in line to get their balloon. Because some children will be a little touchy and a little fussy. Oh, that hurt me. And we don't want no problem. <laughs> so always stay in character. Be as pleasant and polite as you can be. And have a little petition of something in front of you to let them know this is where you can stand and I'll be happy to be of service to you. I hope that inflation was a blessing to you and I pray that you guys know just what to do. So I'm going to try it one more time with our clear balloon, okay? You first want to put the balloon on the nozzle. Sometimes you might have to use both hands. It just depends. Eye, your eye, and hand. Say eye, hand, coordination. That's what it requires. Your fine motor skills are your fingers. So you want to let your fingers do the work. But you want to work your eyes and your hands. So if you're not looking and you're trying to do what you see me do, that's not going to work because I have years of experience, baby, by God's grace. <laughs> so use your eyes and your hands. Okay, one more time. Let's inflate. You're going to pull that pump out. Push it in. Out. In. Don't pull it all the way out because then the whole thing will come out. Just out a little. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Watching it. In. Out. In. Out. Okay, now I'm going to let the air out. We're going to try it one more time. Putting your balloon on the nozzle. Here's the nozzle of that balloon. Do you see it? You take that nozzle and you put it. Put, I'm sorry, you take that balloon, the opening of that balloon, and put it on your nozzle. Go in, I'm gonna go out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, hands, looking at your hands, looking at your pump, looking at the balloon. Okay, because you want to keep your eyes on the hands, the pump, and all of that so that you can see how much progress your balloon has made with the inflation. And like I said, tying, once you can achieve tying, you got it, baby, you on your way. <laughs> it takes practice, prayer, and patience. Say it again. Practice, prayer, and patience. Okay, you let a little air out. A little burp. Okay, if that's not enough, then you have to adjust things to suit you. And you just pull it on over. And there you have it. And this is what the 260 looks like once it is fully inflated. And we'll talk about how to twist and do all those other loops and things like that in our next session. But our birthday parties are as special as 123 with Miss A-N-N-I-E. Go to my Facebook page, friends. 
and see the pictures of Annie the Kinder Clown. I wear very, very different hats and costumes and things of that nature. I'm Little Red Riding Hood in some cases. Um, and then I'm also a doll baby. And then I'm also a clown with pink hair. And then I've got blue hair for the boys in many cases. And then I'm a circus clown. But then sometimes customers just want me to come dressed up just as I can be. In uniform, as special and ready and prompt as one, two, three. So remember, whenever your assignment calls for you to go forth and minister or to give back to the community, do it with a smile and do it with a good personality and a good heart. God can only honor those things that you glorify him with. He can't honor pride. Pride goes before destruction and a hearty spirit before a fall. So make sure whatever you do, you keep your balloons stored up in your bag. Stay hydrated with your water. Pack your equipment, your supplies for the capacity of people that you will possibly serve and have your little pens and markers to write on. You want only fine, not fine tip, but felt tipped. Okay, markers, only felt, not the fine tip. The fine tip is the one that you write with and you'll probably pop your balloons. So don't use the fine tip but you want to use the felt tip. And I hope and pray that these instructions have been a blessing to you. Stay tuned as this was the orientation for balloon classes with Annie the Kinder Clown. If you need additional assistance and help, if you just can't figure it out, then you need to take our classes and register because they do require more time and practice one-on-one -on -one with me. That's 410-464-2213. And behind me, if you can actually see my little balloons and puppets and things that I've been playing around with, you'll see that we are still in the holiday mode. And we thank God for Jesus. May God bless you and your ministry. And whatever you do, practice, pray, practice, Pray and have patience. Remember, practice, pray, and have patience. God bless you. May you have a great and a wonderful day. Stay tuned for the next tutorial on Fantastic Fridays with Annie.